A Troy mother of four is in a fight for her life. My bone marrow, it's not making cells the way it should be. And that means the only way for Melissa Bowman to survive is by receiving frequent blood transfusions given through the kindness of strangers. So Melissa's family has already repaid their debt of gratitude many times over. Dr. Frank Lee George here with their inspiring story. Frank. Devin and Kimberly, you know, when a person's bone marrow fails, they can't make blood cells necessary for life. And in Melissa Bowman's case, it started out four years ago with a seemingly ordinary illness. I had a birthday party for my daughter, kind of running around, thought I just overdid it, too much fatigue. Um, I slept for about 24, 26 hours, and then I started running a fever. Melissa went to an emergency room where she was found to be severely anemic, leading to a bone marrow biopsy that uncovered aggressive systemic mastocytosis. That's an extreme form of a disease that causes life-threatening allergic reactions and bone marrow failure. After they confirmed with the bone marrow biopsy, um, they gave me 41 months to live. From then, um, I'm now at 48 months. Part of what's kept her alive all this time are blood transfusions. I've been transfusion dependent since then. Every month I have to have a transfusion. Since her diagnosis, she's had 53 units. Carmanis Cancer Institute hematologist oncologist Dr. Abhinav Deal knows how important blood is to patients like Melissa. We need to have a constant supply um, through the Red Cross so that these patients can get support during potentially curative treatment. That and it can never be taken for granted. There has been twice that I've only been able to get one unit because they were low um, in the winter times. Recognizing the importance of blood and the impact of intermittent shortages, Melissa's sister Cher has been organizing frequent blood drives to help give back to the effort that's keeping her sister alive. We have collected, I do believe it was, last count was three, almost 350. 350 units. That's blood that's helped hundreds and hundreds of people. Anytime somebody decides to donate a unit of blood, they have to keep in mind that they're not helping one individual patient, they're helping multiple patients with that one act of kindness. Unfortunately, Melissa's disease has progressed. I'm on a sinking ship and I'm either going to go under or I'm going to jump off the sinking ship and start swimming. So I've been swimming. For her, a bone marrow transplant is her only option. And even though it's extremely high risk because of the nature of her illness, she remains positive. I haven't found the shore yet, but I will. It'll get there. Now, Melissa's bone marrow transplant is this Friday, and her brother is a 100% donor match. Now, if it is successful, it should completely cure her. And she really wants to thank everyone who has been so supportive, and especially the blood donors who have kept her alive for the past four years. Yeah. Well, we certainly wish her the best, and yeah. I know she's not the only one that's no. in need. Yeah. No, as a matter of fact, the Red Cross is telling us right now there is an emergency need for donations, in particular of type O blood. And to help meet that need, Local Forest teamed up with Gardner White and the Red Cross for blood drives beginning uh, tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 7.45 p.m. at the Gardner White stores in Auburn Hills. Canton, Macomb Township, Warren, Waterford, Taylor, and Novi. And from 11 a.m. until 7.15 at the Brighton store. We put all the complete information and details on clickondetroit.com. We hope you can help. Yep.